Good evening folks, Alvis51 here, um, just a quick follow up, well it, it may not be quick, you'll know because you'll see what time it's going, but bear with me, um, to the uh, sonic booms that I heard um, while watching Game of Thrones. Um, so on Monday the 2nd of May 2016, um, Air France flight AF155 Eight um, passenger plane. It's there. The info about that um, did lose um, communication, and it was unresponsive. Um, so I believe it looks like on the map it lost it here. Started to rear off, going across here, Coningsbury, where the two typhoons set set off from, and the Leeds area is here. I live in Pontefract, that's where Licorice is from, if you don't, never heard of it, but I'm sure you may have heard of Licorice, the Pontefract cake, um, very nice, tasty, sweet, um, but yeah, anyway, off that, the sweets, um, but yeah, these uh, Sonic Booms, which, if you've not heard one, I highly recommend you get out there and you find a Sonic Boom of some kind, because it sounds amazing, um, it... I don't know, it's like a rhinoceros' fart or something. It's it's it, it's not smelly, um, but it's just loud. I've never heard a rhino fart. In all honesty, but I imagine it to be loud because they're big animals. Um, but yeah, anyway, off subject. So the um, Air France was told round about the leads that come on, lads, you're going the wrong way. You need to you need to turn turn around and uh, get back on course so uh, they then reared off here and came round and uh, landed nice and safe in Newcastle. Now a sonic boom um, in England it's it's actually illegal to um, f to break the sound barriers and, and um, in certain areas without permission uh, so they had permission so this move must have been a serious issue. I don't know if there's anything that, out, that they're not telling us at all. If there's some some of the trucks being kind of like covered up, you know, aliens and all that. Um, but uh, a few statistics, statistics. I say statistics. Um, about the speed of sound. So it's seven hundred. 768 miles per hour. Now I know that these jets were going roughly double the other back because I've heard this. Um, oh look at that. 15 claims for damages including six broken and cracked windows. Oh this is between 2009 um, and 2014. I would have thought that would have been a, a lot higher in England because there's a lot of people that like to claim for things that is not necessarily, you know, where there's a blame there's a claim. Uh, so something's gone off um, in the life and they think, you know what, I really want to get that double glazing because them neighbours, they're, they're noisy, they're real noisy buggers. Um, so what, what people might do in England is they'll hear a sonic boom, they might say, you know what, let's, uh, let's chip, let's crack that window, we'll blame it on the boom and then we'll make a claim. I bet that's happened. I bet you a lot of people, in fact, if you're watching this video, I bet I've given you the idea to get the claim. Oh, me, me China, it's cracked. But um, yeah, sonic booms, interesting. That these aircrafts can, are just getting amazing now. Uh, I mean, we've got the Eurofighter, um, most powerful aircraft going. Um, I'm pretty sure there's aircrafts uh, out there that are a lot more powerful than that. Speaking of aircrafts, so my channel is all about, uh, if you haven't guessed it, with the um, Mexican government Mayan artifact that they found. What is that bad boy up there? That, I know we're going off track here, but we're not, we're not. This is all, all to do with sonic booms because they've been recorded over history. Um, here, yeah, is that or is that not E.T. sunbathing? with some aliens here, here, planet here. And when you look 
at other things. So we've had planes for a long time. This is a Mayan artifact. Bring another one up here for you. That's another one. And I know what you're thinking. They look like really crap planes. But the National History Channel modelled them perfectly to scale and they flew. How do you explain that? How do you explain that? How do you explain this in Egypt? Thousands of years old. All these planes thousands and thousands of years old. Look at that. That looks a bit like this typhoon. Is that a helicopter? I'm pretty sure that that's an helicopter. That's um, a hover car. And that's... Does that look like that too? It does look like that to me. <sighs> madness. Absolute madness. I'm telling you now, somebody's going to let the cat out of the bag. Don't put cats in bags. It's cruel. Um, but yeah, um, I am always 51. And... My channel doesn't take itself too seriously. However, what I put out there, I do believe in. And I'm not saying that the incident that happened on Monday is anything to do with aliens. It could be. Um, I'm just saying, have an open mind about stuff like this. You know, none of my friends really believe in it. I think I've got two um, that do. Uh, the rest of them just take the mick. Um, if you're watching this, probably laughing, taking the mic. Um, but the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. When you've got evidence of thousands and thousands of years old, and technology is just going through the roof now, sonic booms and what's next? What's next? And we're launching little nano things into space soon. Stephen Hawking's just signed up with this Russian guy, giving him billions uh, the ship making these nano um i don't know aircraft things that's a that's my bottle top um to send out to other planets to look then they can travel on a um a light sail so they can travel at i think it's a quarter of the speed of light it's getting ridiculous and i'm telling you this this technology that we have, we I think we've had that for a long, long time. So, sonic booms, yes, they are fantastic, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be super, super sonic boom. Um, it's, it is crazy, the world we live in at the moment. And I think if E.T. here looks down at us and thinks we're all a bit silly because we've got all this technology and all we're doing is killing each other and prodding each other and making fun of people doing silly YouTube videos. It's, it's all a little bit crazy, isn't it? I think, personally, we should put this technology into the greater good. And go out there into the universe and look for other civilizations that don't know what they're doing with themselves, maybe destroying themselves like us. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I'm mumbling on because again, I am tired and uh, looks a bit like a frog that I bumped it with wings, come to think of it. Maybe it was a flying frog. Maybe we've modeled our airplanes on flying frogs. That's worth thinking about. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your, your evening and um, please like and subscribe. I'm Arvis51, signing off. Good night, God bless. Get some licorice down, yeah.